Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Another wonderful day and an opportunity to hear the word of God. See, the Bible says that everything will pass away, but the word of God will remain standing. And as long as we learn to hear the word of God and then believe the word of God that we've heard and then act on what we believe that we heard, we will always stay standing. You'll realize that everything will come, but they'll always pass away. Why? Because the word of God is eternal. And if the word of God is eternal, you are an eternal being. And you need to stand on the word of God because the word of God upholds you and it sustains you and it protects you. Today, I would like to encourage you from the book of Galatians chapter 6 and verses 9. Galatians 6, 9, and it says this. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Now you understand that in our day-to-day -day living, it is very easy for us to give up while we are doing good things. Because sometimes when you do something good, someone does not appreciate you for doing that. And it is a good opportunity for you to give up because you're saying, you know, I'm pouring out my heart on this individual or on these people, but none of them is appreciating it. Or you may be able to Declare that you're going to do something to help the community. But then they are trashing what you're trying to do to help out in the community. So it is easy to give up. But here Paul is telling us, let us not grow weary while doing good. In other words, whatever good deed you're doing, don't grow weary. Don't give up regardless of what you see, regardless of what you hear, or regardless of what you face. Why? Because he tells us that in due season... We are going to reap. In other words, there is a reward that is coming as a result of every good deed that we do. You know, God says he has not forgotten the labor of our love. Any good thing you're doing, you're doing it out of love. And God says, I have not forgotten the labor of your love. And therefore, Paul is encouraging us, do not grow weary. Don't lose heart. Don't give up because there is a reward that is coming, not only towards you, but even towards the people that you're doing a good thing for. They may not understand it right now, but your faith and love for doing the very same thing is going to cause a great reward to come not only towards you, but even towards the people. And therefore, I'd like to encourage you today. I know your heart is full of love to see people's lives transformed. I know you have got a, a heart full of love to see your community being a better place. But you know what? Sometimes when you begin to do good things, you don't get the results of the good things that you're doing. So remember, don't give up when you begin to do good things. Now, how are you, not, how are you going to stay focused and never give up? Well, Jesus told us that men ought to pray always and never give up. Which means as long as you're doing a good thing, always stay in fellowship with the Father. Stay in communion with the Father. As you're staying in communion with the Father, He will be your encourager. He says He has given you His Spirit to be your encourager, to be your comforter, to be your standby, to be your counselor. In other words, he understands very well that man will not encourage you to continue doing the good thing. Man will fight you and discourage you from doing a good thing. But he says, when you stay with me, you stay in prayer or in fellowship with me, I will encourage you to continue doing a good deed. Why? Because God says you are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. In other words, God expects you to, go, to do good things because you are born of his spirit. And therefore, he wants to encourage you through his spirit to continue doing good things. And therefore, today, remember, once you begin to do a good thing, stay in prayer with God. And as you stay in prayer with God, listen to whatever he's telling you. And that is the final thing you need to stay with. Whether man encourages you, whether man appreciates it or does not appreciate it, you don't pay attention to whatever man is saying to you. You only acknowledge what man is telling you. I acknowledge what you say. I acknowledge what you do, but I'm listening to what my father is telling me. Why? He is the author of the good deeds in my heart. And he has said he does not forget the labor of my good deeds. Why? He began it in me and he tells me never to give up. Why? He has never given up on doing any good thing unto me. And he wants me to carry on with his character and with his nature. And therefore he says there is a reward that is coming forth. You and I hope to see results coming as long as you continue to do good deeds and stay in fellowship with the father. And as you do that today, you will see the great results coming your way. And therefore, don't give up. 
Stay in fellowship with the Father and you'll see the rewards coming your way. Stay blessed and have a wonderful day.